Okay, this is a video showing the grid book setup from Moodle. And as you can see, we have various activities here, uh, all as reflected in the, the module map. And we weighted each of these activities, so they're marked over 100%, but uh, they carry the same weight as which would be reflected in the, the module map. So it allows each student to see uh, their total for the module. Uh, this takes a bit of setting up in Moodle. And you have to make sure that uh, you have graded activities and you have non-graded activities. And it's important that the graded activities are weighted means of grades, including the, the empty grades. So it will calculate out. So for example, if a student gains 50% in this first project upload here, it's weighted at 40%. So that would mean that he gets half of the 40%, which is his 20% overall to the individual mark. Now this is the benefit of a uh, student being able to log on on the gradebook and view the results and we'll just have a look at that now. I'll just pause the video when I pull up a student's uh, results and I'm just going to hide the student's name. So, Okay so this is a, a user report. Uh, I've just blanked out this so you can't see the student's name but you can see here the calculated weight and you can see the grade of the student received, his percentage and then the total contribution to the course. So the student can see exactly uh, how it adds up and what their current percentage are. Uh, one pity about this is he's, he's currently sitting here on 24%. Uh, there's a misalignment between the columns here. So this is to be explained uh, to the student in class and show them the, the total weight, the, the total marks they have ongoing. But it's a good tool for the student to see the progression as the progression through the module. So that's basically a, a quick introduction to the, to the gradebook that I've used in Moodle. The gradebook also allows me to look at the whole participants, the whole class, uh, as per assignments. And if I go down to the very bottom here, I can see the average. So it gives me a good range of, of how students are performing versus the, the average of the group. And I can scroll over and see the total averages all summed up as we go along the module. So that has good advantages for myself in reviewing the overall analytics and what's going on in the module. And a further tool I have here in Moodle is uh, the overview of the students using the progress bar. So it's somewhat related to the gradebook where all the activities are, that are graded or I suppose non-graded uh, the students would see. But it allows me as a lecturer or supervisor or e-moderator maybe to, to quickly review and see the progression of each student. So hopefully there should be plenty of greens down there as we visually go down. And we can see all the enrolled students here and see all their uh, uploads and any of the corrections and their, their current average mark. So that's a very useful tool as a moderator.